Hey everyone, welcome back. I made this hat, which I call, well, I began to call it the all Gucci hat, but you know, due to copyright legalities, I can't call it that. So I'm going to just call it the all G hat. <laughs> um, we're going to be doing a tutorial on how I made this today. Um, we're going to start by telling you what materials I used. So for the yarn, I used Red Heart Super Saver in, I believe it's buff. Yeah, it's buff. I use Red Heart Super Saver in hot red. You can also use cherry red. I think it'll work just fine. And then Red Heart Super Saver in patty green. Now, if you don't want to use Red Heart Super Saver, you can use any worsted weight yarn. I think it'll work just fine as long as you have similar colors to these. Um, what else did I do? Let me see. I used a 5.5 millimeter hook or an I-9. Obviously you're going to need a pair of scissors. These little tags here. I've got some different ones here. Um, I usually order from Archer Knits and you can find them on Etsy. Let me see, and then for this palm, I want to show you all, it's actually detachable. See that there? I've got these. See how it's got a little button? I got these from Amazon in a pack of assorted colors. They all have little buttons on them, and then they come with the extra button that you can attach to your work. Um with an embroidery needle. It was very easy to do. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what we're gonna do is with your buff yarn, you're gonna make a slip knot. And we're going to chain 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and we're going to go right here into this second chain, make a single crochet, and we're going to single crochet all the way across. Don't mind my kids. <laughs> okay. So we single crochet across. And you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine total and we're going to turn our work pull that slack okay we're going to chain one and we're going to go right back into that first chain but in the back loop make another single crochet and for the rest of the row, we're going to single crochet in each back loop across. Okay, we're going to chain one and turn. And we're going to repeat that. Let's see, I believe for the next five rows, we're going to do the same. 
pattern. So we're going to have a total of seven rows with the buff yarn. And then once we're done with the buff yarn on the seventh row, you could either fasten it off so that you can change your color, or if you have a better technique at changing color since we're going to come back to the buff yarn, you can uh, use whichever method you prefer, but we are going to be alternating the colors while we make this band. So the pattern for this is going to be seven of these single crochet rows in the buff yarn and then we're going to do one row of the patty green, one row of the red, then another row of the patty green, and then back to the buff yarn. So it's seven and then eight, nine, ten and then we're going to go back to the buff. So it's going to be repeated six times the same pattern that we're following with the colors for a total of 60 rows. So I'm going to go ahead and finish working this up until I get to the color changing row so I can show you all how I change my colors. Okay. So I went ahead and did seven rows total of the buff yarn. I'm going to go ahead and fasten this off. And I'm going to go ahead and snip that. Now you can weave in your ends as you go totally up to you how you want to do it. I use one of these needles to just go right ahead and hide all my strings. Um, you can also, when changing colors, I'm going to go ahead and grab the green. Go ahead and put your hook right in. Actually, we're going into the back loop, so we just put it in the back loop. You can just fold that yarn over this little tail. You can fold it over with your work. Let me go ahead and make a slip knot here of this one. So I can add that. Holding those two down. I'm going to just pull right through both. So let's chain one and then go back into that. Just the back loop and the two tails is what I'm holding and we single crochet. So now we're going to single crochet in the back loops only all the way across. Don't mind my family in the background. It's Sunday and everybody's relaxing. So let me see. Almost, almost, almost. And the last one. Okay. So we've gone all the way across in the back loops. And then we have this little bit of slack. We're going to end up crocheting around this band once we're done. So you can even feed that into the band as well. That way you don't have to cut any ends. It's totally up to you how you want to do it. But since we did this one row of green, you can fasten off this one just like that. Um, the same way that we did the buff. You can fasten it off and then go ahead and switch to the red. Or like I said, whichever method you prefer. If you want to keep the green since we have to come right back to the green. And then switch to the red and then have the green ready for you to switch back to. Everybody's different. Everybody has their method of doing things. This is the way I do it. So let's switch to the red. The same exact thing that we did with the green. 
So we're going to go into the back loop. You see how I turned my work, okay? Make sure you turn your work. That way you can stay consistent with your back loops. Keep that rib effect going. So go in to the back loop. Flip that green over. The green tail, I mean. Let's attach our red. Let's chain one. And let's go into that back loop while holding the two tails. Single crochet across in the back loops only. Okay, so my camera cut out on me, and this isn't the first time that I've recorded a tutorial and my camera just stops recording. And, um, sorry about that. Let me go ahead and fill you in on what I did. I finished the row of red, fastened it off, flipped back over, did the row of green, fastened it off, and now what we're going to do is repeat this exact pattern five more times for a total of six of these all the way around so now that we're done with this first ten we're gonna do another seven of the buff and then these three rows and so we're gonna do that five more times so we're gonna have a total of 60 rows all the way around so I'm gonna go ahead and work up my band and I will come back to you when I'm done so that I can show you how to close it off. Okay, so I've gone ahead and did all 60 rows. You can tell that you can count it. One, two, three, four, five, and then six. So I'm gonna go ahead and take both ends and we're just gonna close these two together and I still have my green yarn attached. I didn't fasten it off. So I'm gonna go into the back loop of the green. And then if you look here, I'm gonna go right into the base of the first loop. I'm sorry, the first stitch on the opposite end with the buff and we're going to slip stitch okay so repeat the same process go into the back loop of the green and then bottom of the second buff stitch and then slip stitch and we're going to do that same process all the way across Move that tail out the way. And we have one last stitch. Slip stitch. Okay, so we'll go ahead and fasten that off. And we are done with this band. That. Let's get the green out of the way. So now we're going to be working upward on the band. And we are not going to be using any other colors besides buff. So let me, we're going to go right back to where we ended off just now and we fastened off. Grab our buff, slip knot, and we're going to go, if you can see that little hole there. on the very last stitch before we fastened off. I'm going to pull this green tail over so I can crochet it in my work. So we're going to go ahead and chain one 
and we're gonna make one single crochet across the top of each row for a total of 60 single crochets all the way around and then we'll join with the beginning single crochet so let me go ahead and start so this is one let's go ahead and go into the same stitch that we just joined in okay now we're going to go into the red make another one go into the green and then now in the buff so we're going to go ahead and do this all the way across and i will meet you back when i make it all the way around Okay, so I went ahead and crocheted 60 single crochets all the way across. And I joined with the first single crochet. And what we're going to do is chain two. And we're going to make one double crochet in each of the single crochets around. Very easy. I will meet you when I join back at the beginning. Okay, I went ahead and double crocheted in each single crochet around. We're going to chain one and we are going to make one double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. And we are going to make one triple crochet in this second single crochet. My son's gaming and he is extremely loud. Actually, we're not going to make a full triple crochet. What we're going to do is we're going to make two triple crochets together. So we're going to leave these last two on the hook, right? We're going to wrap our yarn around our hook again. And so we went around this one, this single crochet here from the single crochet round that we did before the double crochet round. So we're going to count three single crochets over one two three and we're going to go into this fourth single crochet okay so we're going to do this and now we finish this stitch by pulling through all three loops okay so that made our first little tower here for this lattice design that we're working on so Looking back at these double crochets here, we're going to skip one and then we're going to go into the next one and we're going to single crochet in the next three, so three total single crochets and then we're going to repeat this pattern. So we're going to make the beginning of our triple crochet together, we're going to go back into this one here, this single crochet that we just made the last one in. Go in there. Now remember, don't complete it. We're going to leave two on the hook, and then we're going to count over three, one, two, three, and then go into that fourth one. Come on. I tend to crochet really tight. Okay. We completed our second one. Don't forget to skip that first double crochet there. We're going to make one single crochet in the next three stitches. And we're going to repeat it again. We're going to go into that single crochet that we just worked up. 
don't complete it. And one, two, three, go on to that fourth one. Skip one. And one in the next stitches. So see, we have this design starting up. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue on. And I will meet you back when we're beginning our next row. Okay, so now we're back. We're at the very, very last stitch after we made our last three single crochet. And we're just going to bring these two together with our little design that we're making. So we'll go ahead and start up our first triple crochet, or I guess you can say an incomplete triple crochet, I think. And then we're going to wrap our yarn around twice, and we're going to just go right back into that first or second uh, single crochet that we first worked up the triple crochet in the beginning on. And that'll complete this design. And once we did that, we're just going to go ahead and slip stitch. And that completes that row. Okay, so we're going to chain two and this row will be another double crochet row so we're gonna put one double crochet in each stitch across And this is basically setting up the foundation for the next part of our lattice design. So I'll go ahead and finish this row and meet you back at the beginning. Okay, I've made it all the way around, joined at the chain two, and we are going to chain one for our next row and we're gonna single crochet in our first double crochet and we are going to go ahead and go into the top of this little peak here that we have and we're going to make one triple crochet just like that just one triple crochet now we're going to skip this double the second double crochet on our row and we're going to make one single crochet in each of the next three stitches okay and now we're gonna go ahead and make our peaks so wrap that yarn around and we're gonna repeat the same process we're gonna go right back into here and here and make a peak so we're gonna wrap our yarn around this peak don't complete this triple crochet because we're going to wrap our yarn around again and go into the next peak to complete it. See that? There it is. Now it's a diamond. So we have to make sure that we skip one double crochet and then single crochet in the next three stitches and we're going to repeat that again. Go around that last peak, don't complete it. Turn over twice, go into the next peak, and then we complete it. Skip that single, I mean that double crochet, and one single crochet in each of the next three. So you can see what we have going here. We're making our diamonds for our lattice design. And I'll show you all one more and then I'll go ahead and work my row up and meet you back at the beginning. Next. 
complete that little diamond, skip the double crochet, and then, oh, see, I work too fast. <laughs> skip that. Now one, two, three. Okay. Okay, I will meet you back at the beginning. Okay, so we came around to the very last peak, and then you have one stitch left so you're going to single crochet there and then we have to go ahead and close this so what we're going to do is we're going to make one triple crochet leave the two loops on the hook and we're going to go right around this first triple crochet that we made and pull all the way through okay so that closes it up so we're going to chain two and we are going to work one double crochet in each stitch around okay so let's go ahead and begin and i will go ahead and meet you back at the beginning So now we're back at the beginning, but I did not close it, I didn't join because I'm going to add two instead of just one here on the last stitch, only because our last row, when we closed the diamond, we did lose out on the stitch because I went over one um, instead of joining like we usually do. So we're just adding that stitch back. It's really the only thing we're doing. So we go ahead and join the chain two. And we're gonna start this process again. So go ahead and basically what we did down here, we're just doing it all over again. So we're gonna put one, two, three single crochets in each of the next three stitches. We're going to put one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Um, and then we're going to go right into this one here. I'm trying to remember it. Sorry. <laughs> I was looking back at my notes. We're going back into this one and this one. So start that off. Don't complete it. Leave the two on the hook. Skip that one. And then so we got both of those. I'm sorry. Let me skip that one. Now one single crochet in each of the next three. And then we're going to go back into this one. And into the next one. Oops, did a double. Sorry, need a triple, not a double. Two, close that off. Skip one stitch. One single crochet in each of the next three. Let's see how we have it going again. We're gonna go into this one this peak skip that stitch one single crochet in the next three Whoop. can't complete it this one One, one, two, three. So this is how it's looking so far. I'm going to go ahead and continue and I'll meet you back here at the end. Okay, so we're at the end. We did our last three single crochet. We're going to make one last peak here and join. Uh, 
Join. Okay, so now we chain two and we're doing a double crochet round. So we're gonna make one double crochet in each stitch around and I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and meet you back at the end of the row. Okay, so we went ahead and double crocheted in each stitch around. And one thing I do wanna mention because I was worried when I worked it up the first time, down here they do look a little wonky like the diamonds do, but once you stretch it out when you put it on, they will space out evenly the way that they need to look. So I just wanted to let you all know, if you're seeing yours and you're like, oh, this doesn't look all that good, don't worry about it. It's gonna even out. So we chain one, and we're going to make one single crochet and we're going to make one triple crochet on this peak and then we're going to skip one and make one single crochet in each of the next three stitches and then we're going to start making our peaks again We're going to skip one and one single crochet in each of the next three. And another peak. Skip one. Single crochet in each of the next three. Okay, I'm gonna keep going and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, we are at the end and you all remember after making this peak, there's one single crochet that you can make left. And then we're gonna make one triple crochet that's going to lead back to where this first triple crochet is and we're gonna wrap our yarn around it, pull right through. Now, we are going to go ahead and do another double crochet round and then remember when we come to the end we're going to add two double crochets here since we skipped out on the first single crochet here by attaching this and this triple crochet together so go ahead and begin and I will meet you back at the beginning. Okay, so we've made it all the way around and we put two double crochet in the last stitch. So now we're gonna join and then chain one and we're going to make one single crochet in each of the next three. And we're gonna go to this peak and this peak and bring them together. One, and one, two, and we are going to skip this one and make one single crochet in each of the next three, and then we're going to make another peek. Got my family in the background talking about using the bathroom when that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> my two-year-old's talking about going poo-poo. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Pause here and I'll continue and I'll meet you back at the beginning of the row. Okay, we're back at the last, very last peak. So we made those last single crochets in the final three stitches. And we went ahead and started this peak and we are going to finish by pulling 
it through the first single crochet we made and all the way through the piece that we made. And now we're going to go ahead and chain two and we are working our double crochet round, making one double crochet in each stitch across or around, I should say. You know, I was sitting here thinking, um, this pattern would be great if it was all solid as well. Instead of adding these stripes here, like, I was thinking of like a pretty blush pink hat. I think it'd be really cute in all one color. Let me go ahead and continue making these stitches and I'll meet you back when we complete the round. Okay, we did one double crochet in each stitch around, joined to the chain two, chain one. We're gonna make one single crochet and then we're gonna make one triple crochet in the first peak. Skip one, one single crochet, the next three, And then we're going to go ahead and make another peak here around these two. Skip one, two, three. The next two. Skip one, one, two, three. Skip one, one, two, three. All right, I'm gonna keep going and I'll meet you all around the beginning. Okay, we've made it around and we're going to make that one last single crochet and we're gonna make the one last triple crochet here. And remember we go right around the first triple crochet that we made in this row and pull through all three loops and we're going to make chain two and begin our double crochet round making one double crochet in each stitch across or around and then we are making two double crochets in the last stitch of the round. So I'm going to go ahead and work this round up and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so we've made it around. We joined it. Well, we added the two stitches and then we joined the chain two. We chain one and then we make one, two, three single crochet. We're going to go back into this peak. And we'll skip one. One, two, three. Make our next peak. One, one, two, three. The next one. Skip one. One, two, three. What happens? Okay, skip one, one, two, three. All right, I will meet you back around when I'm done with this row. Okay, so at this point, you can either 
continue on with that same lattice design or you can begin to decrease which is what I'm going to show you next but I did want to mention something before I move on um, I have a design of a square beanie like this that I have shown you all on my Instagram page if you're not following me on Instagram my account name is at Cassandra's underscore crafts you can go ahead and follow me see this hat here is a square design I just wanted to show you if you wanted to try that design out you would just go ahead and slip stitch front and back all the way across so you would take one stitch from the front and one stitch from the back and stitch them together with a slip stitch all the way across to close it off and fasten it off and that will leave you with a square beanie that's not what we're doing today but I just wanted to throw that out there in case you wanted an extra design with this um, I think it would make up a beautiful hat it's actually what I was originally planning on doing when I worked up the first hat um, but my uh, my husband told me that he thinks well he thought a round beanie would be better so I went ahead and made the round beanie but just so you know I'm gonna go ahead and end my length here at this length so what you do I'm gonna clean that because I don't like how big that stitch is let me go ahead and do that stitch over tighten it a little bit sorry about that back up a little bit um what you do next oops And this next row is a decrease round so we're going to chain two and just make two double crochet together in each stitch around So you, in this next stitch, you leave two loops on your hook and then go into the next stitch, pull through and then pull through all three. So one, then go into the next stitch, through all three. And we're doing this all the way across around I keep saying across sorry <laughs> all the way around I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and meet you back at the beginning since my son is going crazy in the background be right back Okay, so I went ahead and decreased all the way around. I'm going to fasten off, but I'm going to leave a long tail because we're going to cinch this shut. And then we're going to use the same tail to, um, to sew our snap button for our palm at the top so I went ahead and did that I have this very long tail looking for my needle give me a second okay. so we grab our needle our little snap buttons and I'm just going to weave this to the top of each stitch back and forth So, back and forth to each one of around. Almost. 
If you have another method of closing this up, by all means, feel free to do it however you feel comfortable because not everyone's comfortable with the methods that I'm comfortable with, so. All right, so I went around to each stitch and I'm just gonna pull it closed. Make sure to get it really, really shut. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead, tie a few knots so that it really stays shut. I'm gonna stab myself. We want to make sure that it's shut so it doesn't pop back open. So there it is. Now we're going to grab one of these snap buttons. And there that is. And we're just going to sew right into each one of these little holes here. Let me see if I have the right needle because I know one of my needles is a lot larger than the eye. I mean, I'm sorry, the eye is a lot larger. Yeah. Let me go find my thinner needle. <laughs> Should have been prepared. <laughs> Give me just a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So this one's just a hair thinner. And we're going to pull that all through. And move back into our hat. And go back into the next hole. Sorry. That. And back into the hat. Okay, we're gonna go through that next hole. And back into the hat. And then back into the next hole. Come on. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go into the hat and we want to tie it off and then weave in this end so that we know it's completely secure. Just gonna put my hand on here, keep it nice and tight and in place. Okay, so I tied that first knot. Let's go ahead and tie a second one. And I'm gonna go ahead, just go into a few stitches. Come on. Okay, and then I'm going to go back up. And then one more time back down. That way it really doesn't come loose. And then we can go ahead and tie that off. Now the one last step we're going to do 
is we're going to make one single crochet in each of the rows so 60 total single crochet now i can this is all just extra so i am probably just going to snip these ends i know a lot of people don't believe in snipping ends off so you can definitely just crochet and keep them under the rows while you're crocheting your single crochets um however you choose to do it you can go ahead and stick your hook in to one of the stitches and grab your buff yarn the slip knot and then pull through chain one single crochet in that same stitch and in each stitch across around <laughs> okay. and I will meet you guys when I've made it all the way around okay I went ahead and did one single crochet in each of the rows across or around and I went ahead and joined and fastened off and I snipped all the little extra pieces that were all over the place and I'm gonna go ahead and add my name tag these little screws here this may take me a couple of tries because it always does but um, I want to place it here. I need to find a good stitch to put a little screw through. Put it right through there. Bring this up and in place. And with my other top screw. Come on. That's done. We've got our palm. Remember we put the button on top. So let's go ahead and just snap that in place. And zoom out a little bit so you can see it. it is. I hope that you guys like this tutorial. If you guys decide to make one for yourselves, I'd love for you all to show me pictures by tagging me in it on Instagram. Remember my Instagram account name is at Cassandra's underscore crafts. If you'd like to watch any of my other videos in the near future, you can like and subscribe. And I hope you guys liked this pattern. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and comment below or reach out to me via social media. You guys have a good day.